variables. It's a new thing in Figma that just came out recently and it's life changing. With variables, they can do things like easily switch between light mode and dark mode or create product cards that are actually linked to real data. In today's video, we're going to explore how we can use variables to create a simple light and dark mode for our designs. So let's jump right in. All right. I think we're ready to get started testing variables and seeing how it works in our designs. So first step, we're going to go ahead and use um, colors and variables to alter between a light mode and a dark mode. So first and foremost, how do you even find variables? Well, it's actually in the right panel side over here. So make sure you have nothing selected in your canvas and go ahead and click on this open variable and it will go ahead and open up this panel right here. And you can create variables by simply clicking plus. Now, what's the difference between variable and styles? Well, you can use variables for multiple different things, such as the items in your cart, for example, or for different modes. So you can have the same colors, let's say a primary color, and you can have different modes for it. So you can have a light mode, a dark mode, different languages for your product cards, for example. It serves for multiple different purposes. And I think you'll see the power of it in just a second. So if you click on create a variable, it will give you four options. So we have the color option. So any colors can be variables. We can create numbers. So this would be interesting for, for example, the total we've added. We can add string variables. So this is good for the name of products. And we can add a Boolean one. So this could serve for things such as, is this item added to the card or not? and so on and so forth. So first of all, I have this project set up here. Now I've gone ahead and opened this in Figma. This is a e-commerce mobile app UI kit that I was able to download from Avid Akram. So thank you for providing that. I've gone ahead and opened it up and pulled one of the cart pages into my separate variables lesson. The link to that community file is in the description if you do want to follow along and learn as we go. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and input some of the colors used in the screen in, as a variable. Now for our background color here, we have this color. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that, go back to variables. I'm going to create a color variable and call it background like this. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that in as a value. And we also have this purple here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and create another variable color and call this our primary. Paste that in. What else do we have in here that we might want altered? We have a little gray color here. I'm going to pull that and call it our gray. Whoops, there we go. So we, that's all the colors we need for now. Now, of course, we want to link our colors just as you would do with a style to these variables. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and select the entire frame here, check out. And instead of this fill here, we're going to click on style and click background. And so now that's using the variable background color. For this one, we're going to do the same. Click into the fill and change it to our gray color. And for our button, we're going to go ahead and do the same for our primary color. Now, what about the background of this one? Do we have a color here as well? So the background of this one seems to also be background. So now, what if we want to create a dark mode? Well, before variables, we'd have to duplicate this frame and apply different colors to this frame. And then if we needed to change the, you know, any designs, we need to do it in two places, the light mode, the dark mode, and it could get confusing. But now with variables, what you could do is you can now set up a new mode. Now, this is what you could do on the basic uh, plan of Figma. However, if you do have a professional plan, you can go ahead and add a variable mode. So this is where our light and dark color will come into play. So if you do want to add a new mode, it will remind you that, hey, you need to make sure that you have a professional plan and then I should be able to create more modes. Now, as soon as I created a new mode, it copied my last colors in here. Now for this mode one, I'm going to call it light. For this other one, dark. 
Now for the background color, I'm going to go ahead and replace it with this color here. For our gray, we're going to go ahead and replace it with this color. One thing I forgot to do, so let's go ahead and create another variable and call this one our text primary. I'm going to set this color for the light. And for the dark, we're going to leave it as white. We also have a secondary color, so I'm going to go ahead and also copy that one. Go to my local variables and also create a color secondary text. And it looks like this one didn't get named, so I'll go ahead and name that one again. And for the secondary one, I think we can leave the secondary as the same. Let's see what that will look like. So let's go ahead and select everything that's dark here. And we're going to apply our fill as primary text. And likewise, for our secondary text, I'm going to select everything that's in the lighter gray color and apply that as secondary text. Now, I may have missed a few things here and there, so I'm going to double check. So now, if you select our checkout frame, and we go to layers and click on this change variable mode, we can toggle between a light mode and a dark mode. Pretty cool. And you can toggle that as you like. And what's interesting about variables is that you can actually go ahead and create parent frames that are for different modes. So for example, I can have this frame here, call it the dark mode frame. I can pull this frame into here. Let's go ahead and set the background of this to just black or a little bit like this. Now we're going to apply that same thing to our layer and select the dark mode. And I'm going to select this frame that's inside of it and select auto so that it will inherit the variable from the parent frame. So now if we drag this outside, by default, this is the light mode because that's the default since it's on the first column. And if we drag this into our dark mode parent frame, it will go ahead and automatically toggle. That's pretty cool. Now, right now, our collection uh, is called collection one, but you can go ahead and rename this collection to, for example, colors. So you can have a colors collection, you can have a spacing collection, you can have product collection, um, and so on and so forth. All right, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot. Um, now, there's going to be future videos where I'm going to show you how you can use variables to create advanced prototypes and create conditional logics to drive users to different pages depending on variables and so on. So I'll see you in the next one.